All right, so good morning. So I'm gonna start a new series on my channel. Most of the time I've, I have done my channel, I guess what, eight, nine, ten years now, however long it's been, whatever. I've kept it to my car project. And I think it's time I'm gonna break out a little bit and show you what life is like outside of the garage for me and for, I guess, for us, my wife and I. So I'm gonna start a new channel and uh, I'm gonna really just turn it how do you wanna do a sustainable homestead. I don't mean it to be a tutorial. I mean it to show you kind of how we live and you know if you have questions about what what we do, how we like it, um, ask questions. So I'm gonna break it up into pieces, show you uh, obviously solar, how we have our solar and uh, try to break some of the myths that are out there. Sustainable living doesn't mean you either have to be a prepper hiding from the world and hoarding toilet paper and guns or it doesn't mean you have to live totally off the grid and really just kind of living off the land. You can mix it up. It doesn't have to matter. We do. We have a full-size refrigerator in that. So I'm going to try to break some myths, stereotypes, show you how we live. And if you have questions, shoot them. Throw them in the comments. I'll answer everything you got. So today I'm going to start doing chores. I'm going to just take some video while I'm out doing chores, getting the animals out and that, and give you a preview. And then I'm going to start kicking off uh, filming, and we'll see where it takes us. So, let's go. Alright, so one of the greatest farces that I think I always find, either in media, and just general, I don't know how you want to call it, just general what people think when you say you live off-grid, I mean, technically, you're just not tied to the power grid. Uh, you know, when I told everybody I was moving kind of out here to where we're at on a land with nothing, they thought I was crazy. And really, maybe we are a little bit. Uh, you know, we raise as much produce as we can in our garden, which I'll show you in detail. We raise our animals for food to sell uh you know we we do what we can i guess we don't live away from everybody i mean i still have my corporate job you know i still have a full-time job my wife runs a farm and really we try to just live a simple life not full of technology and everything else we just try to do what we can at her on our property so you'll see some things um you know i would say life is hard work this is hard work. I don't want to lie to you and say it's not. You know it is. Turkeys, right? So, I'm out towards the barn. And I'm just going to set up my other camera and uh, start filming. Thank you. Good morning. Everybody's ready to party. Good morning, ladies. Get out of the feeder. Oh, goats. You always have to stand in the feeder. Life is not about standing in the feeder. <sighs> Morning, fellas. How you doing this morning? Boys, you know I feed you over there every morning. Come here. Good morning, how are you? Oh, it's a big dog. Huh? Oh, you're such a big dog. You're such a big dog. Look at Joe. I'm out here. No, you're not big enough yet. Come on. Good morning. 
How are you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Back up. Back up. That piece of llama. Good morning. Ah. Come here. Come here. Come on. What do you mean? Okay, so there's kind of the preview of the main half, I would say, of, of the property, if you want to say. So we have a total of 100 acres. We mostly live on 20 of it, really. 20 of it's going to be a future hay field. The rest, uh, we're just going to turn out animals on, maybe some donkeys, um, horses, who knows. We're not sure yet. But the land was available when we got here, and so we picked it up. So I'm going to detail everything out. So obviously you can see all the animals we have. We have goats, dogs, llamas. What else do we have out here? Turkeys, chickens, ducks, geese. I think that's it. And rabbits. I shouldn't, don't forget the rabbit. So I'm going to kind of detail out over the next series um, kind of the housing of them, how we do it, why we do it that way, and uh, show you kind of an evolution as we go along. So we're building everything out here almost from scratch, really. <laughs> Nothing was here when we got the place. It was um, just the house. So we developed a plan of where we wanted to be over X amount of time, and hopefully this is our third year of doing this and building. This will be the last for building, and then the rest is just maintenance and kind of adding on a little bit. So let's go to the back half. Talkative this morning, huh? Yeah, I know. You're always so tough. All right, so we're kind of towards the back half of the property here. Obviously, chickens. You can hear the geese. They won't let you let you down if they know you're coming. Gotta let him out for the, for the day, let him roam. Good morning. Well, I know. Good geese. So as we go through all this stuff, good night. These things are loud. So as we go through here, we're gonna, I'm gonna kind of show you just all of the uh, different types of, I guess, housing we have all for the birds. Everything's got kind of a pro and con to it, um, and we've really evolved everything as we've gone through kind of how we've done this last, I don't know, maybe eight years. Everything's uh, an evolution. We've definitely had some good and bad um, stuff that works better for us and definitely varies by location. Some of the stuff we used at our last place here yeah, it's marginal, just because of the weather difference alone and the terrain. So I'll kind of just detail some of the differences there and uh, get you some uh, insight. So there you kind of have it, uh, the preview, I guess. So you've seen yeah, a little bit of everything, really. Didn't really touch on the rabbits, but they're going to be, um, they're a little bit more in depth, kind of what everything, what we do with them. So uh, here's the preview, and we'll start from there. So you can see uh, beautiful firewood. This is an ongoing project, trying to get ready for the winter, and uh, We'll see you next time as we start to get into this. What, modern day homesteading? I don't know. You label it, I live it.